It's Care Providers of Minnesota's The Inside Scoop. With your advocacy team, Toby Pearson, Nicole Matson, Todd Bergstrom, and Patty Cullen. This week's host, Toby Pearson. Welcome to today's Inside Scoop. Today is Friday, March 11th. A couple quick things at the Capitol this week. Nicole Matson did a great job testifying for the PACE legislation that's moving forward in both the House and the Senate. The good news is it has one-time spending, so we are laid over for possible inclusion and are hopeful that our prospects. The second part testified against uh, Representative Ryan Winkler, who is also the majority leader, a bill to establish a nursing home workforce standards board. He testified that we don't really need a board, to, an unelected board that's appointed with no accountability and no ability to to allocate money to tell us that we need to hire more people and pay them more. That doesn't make any sense right now. We already all know that. Unfortunately, it passed out of committee is moving on to judiciary. We anticipate that this will be a perennial issue for us that we will continue to fight against as things move forward at the Capitol. Also in big picture stuff at the Capitol, dueling press conference time has arrived, which is always awesome. So the two subjects this week on dueling press conferences were the uh, unemployment trust fund payoff and the essential worker or hero pay bonus. First on the unemployment trust fund, really the question comes down to how much? Do we to do a just pay off or do we a do a total refill? Uh, two questions, one costs less than the other. The house uh, is on one side of the issue saying we should spend less on it and just kind of uh, pay off where we are rather than refill the entirety. And the governor and the Senate are on the other side saying, let's you know refill it and push it all back up and use our money wisely. So they will continue to do dueling press conferences on that, but it is tied to the second issue of dueling press conferences, which is hero pay or essential worker pay. So essential worker pay really has come down to who should qualify. Uh, the Senate has fewer people qualifying. Uh, the House has 667,000 people qualifying, uh, each at a $1,500 amount. The governor is also on the House side of things. Uh, their total bill is about a billion dollars. The Senate has $1,500, but far fewer people qualifying, so their total bill on it is closer to $250 million. Watch for action next week as these two issues seem to be wanting to be tied together, and there is a deadline of March 15th for action on the Unemployment Trust Fund. I'm not sure that's an actual deadline or if it's a self-imposed deadline. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, this week, thanks to all who participated in our day at the Capitol. It was fantastic to see you all tuning in and getting some up-to-date information. We heard from the Lieutenant Governor as well as the Senate Majority Leader Jeremy Miller. A couple takeaways from what we heard from those folks. Uh, first, we have our work cut out for us. Nobody wants to spend ongoing money in long-term care and we have to continue to work hard to try to get them to see that we do need permanent increases rather than just bonuses, and we do, do need structural change. This means fully fund EW, give us some money for our nursing facilities, uh, and change the 21-month delay uh, in payment for nursing facilities. We have our work cut out for us because basically they were both telling us we're only going to do one-time money and we're going to let that surplus into the future ride because we don't we are uncertain as to how uh, secure that surplus is read between the lines uh, senate republicans in general think they are going to keep the senate might flip the house or are likely to flip the house and they have their eyes on the gubernatorial election if they can get the trifecta why would they give away the money this year for things they can decide for next year? Uh, read in between the lines, Governor Walls knows he's in for a rough re-election, 
Uh, he's going to have to work hard, and he's not sure whether or not he wants to give the Senate anything to run on, and the Senate's not sure they want to give him anything to run on. So watch for what happens in the politics of it all. Which is a long way of saying it's important, especially now, to start doing meetings with your legislators. If we are going to get permanent increases in structural change, you need to do increase, you need to do more to talk to your legislators. Uh, I think we have more materials on our website. Uh, Nicole and I are always willing to help out if you're doing tours, if you need materials, just email to us. We need to start to push, raise your voices now if we are going to get our permanent increases and our structural changes. And that is the inside scoop. Thanks for watching.